Hello, Cancer. So, Cancer, we're just going to tap into your energy from one Cancer to the next. I hope all is well, okay? Father God, Holy Spirit, what messages? Keep it clear for Cancer. Unblock any messages. Keep it clear for Cancer. Moonology, meditate and contemplate. Yes, new moon in Pisces, okay? So, meditate whatever it is that you want, Cancer, and contemplate and strategize and stop procrastinating, okay? It's time to get right on in it. New moon energy is about just starting old, over, out with the old, ooh, in with the new. Let me see, but this is too many. It said a romantic cycle. Confidence is your key to success. Maybe I'm going to keep them all. What do you need to release a time to give rather than take? I think it was you, Cancer, that time I was saying about um, doing community service. Okay, I think I'm going to keep all of these because it, it even re um, resonates with me. Okay, you got all this new moon energy. Everything here is new moon. Can y'all see? So I'm going to say it once again. New moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. Um... A romantic cycle begins. And you know what? As I look at this, this is a new moon in Libra. This may not even necessarily be, you know, sometimes I say just being in love with life. If you're not searching for love, just being in love for life, of life. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. That's that fire energy. Okay. Um. So look, you got all, you got all um elements here. Um, this is the fire energy. <clears throat> For some of you guys, don't be, I'm hearing body shame. Just don't. Just get, oh, I'm not pretty enough. I'm just, no. Confidence is key to success and it's time for you to step into your power and own it, Cancer. Then you have here a time to give rather than take. This is a new moon in Virgo. A new moon in Virgo. And what it is that you need to release? What is it that you are devoting your time to? Okay. Um, and that could be a distraction. So you got to make a decision. Are you going to do donate your time to things that cause you to grow, to be more successful, or things that keep you empty? Emotionally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Okay? I'm going to keep these here. Okay, spirit. So what else you want our Cancerians here to know? Already. What is it, Spirit? Please be clear. What is it that you want our beautiful Cancerians here to know? And I'm going to try to make it short and sweet. What else do you want our beautiful Cancerians here to know here, Spirit? Okay, here we got the Nine of Cups here. We got Nine of Cups here in reverse. I'm going to read it up right. The King of Cups here. The Five of Cups here. Okay. Let me see here. The Five of Swords. Yeah, I'm going to tell you this right off the bat. Um, cancer, like some of you guys are in y'all head, okay? You're having conflict within yourself. You're thinking too much about the past is what I'm getting here. And this is what spirit wants you to receive. Okay. This is why I'm saying, what is it here that you need to release? And I usually don't read, I, you know, I read reversals, but spirit told me to have it upright this time because we're not doing this. It's nine of cups in reverse. That's just an energy of, the Nine of Cups in reverse is an energy of you just not being happy where you are in life. But the Spirit is saying the minute you release whatever it is that's holding you back, here, you got to be ready to receive and to meditate on it. Okay, to meditate on it. The King of Cups here. What is that you're meditating on? Too many of y'all are doing this. Okay, and not enough this. Okay, being open to receive, okay? And the five of swords here, the conflict, conflict in your head. See what I'm saying here? The ace of wands here. Okay, there are new beginnings that are waiting for you. Let me see. What is this nine of cups here, spirit? Clarify this nine of cups here, spirit. I think I'm going to only um, read these upright. What's this nine of cups here, spirit, for cancer? Dang. Okay. We have here the nine of swords here. Okay, so some of y'all may be um be living in fear. I feel like the past have you in fear. It's time to be childlike. You know how um and nine may be significant to you. You know how as a child you really don't think about consequences and repercussions. You just be open to ready to receive. Okay, 
And that's what you, that's the energy that you need to step into. What's this King of Cups here, Spirit? What's this King of Cups here, Spirit? Get in touch with your emotional side so you can see the sun. Okay? Go out and get whatever it is, exactly what it is that you want, Cancer. Because the sun is shining on you. But you got to get out of your head. Okay? What is it that you need to release? You got to release that so you can see the sun. You got to release this past hurt so you can see the sun. You got to get that confidence back. Okay, what's this five of cups here? What's this five of cups here? Okay, here's the temperance card here. Now, the temperance wanted to come in reverse, and I'm going to tell you, Coming in reverse is like not having balance and harmony. And when you look to the past and keep looking back in the past, you're not going to have harmony in life. And for some of you guys, you are impatient here too as well. As far as the things that you want to do in life, you're feeling like, okay, like for instance, for some of you guys, um, let's say like going back to school, you're looking at how long it would take you to do that. You're being impatient because you want the instant gratification. No. Even as far as coming up, dealing with channels, you know, you want to have a YouTube channel, you want to be an influencer, you want to dish one of that, but then you start to really get into your head, oh my God, I got to do this, I got to do that, da, da, da. well, if you don't release that, okay, you will forever be in the space of not growing. You need to meditate and contemplate, okay, how you want to use your time. Your energy. Okay. We are what? In January now? How do you want this year to be? Do you want to keep repeating the past? Thinking about the past? You know, everything else and why you can't this and why you can and you can, but you're putting can't in your head. The conflict. Okay. You can you got to decide what you want. For some of you guys, you've been through so much that whatever is haunting you. Okay, if you're going to go back in the past, make money of it. Make money off of it. Okay? Teach some folks some shit. If you went through the storm and you look untouched, teach it. Do ebooks. Teach. Show them how. That's therapy for you. Not only that, it's going to give you even more confidence. But it's time to step into your power. It's time. I'm going to put this temperance card right here. Okay. Some of y'all have the fear of being happy. Why? The fear of being happy. That's crazy. But you know what? When you're so comfortable of being in a space of always having disappointment, it becomes familiar. So you kind of expect a disappointment. And this is why a lot of y'all don't get started because you kind of expect a disappointment. Because to be successful means that a lot of things have to change and you are afraid of change. So you just got to decide what side of the coin you're going to be on. What's this five of swords here, spirit? For our cancers. What's this five of um, swords here about? Okay, hit the hermit. Yep. It's time to isolate and meditate. That's right. You see that? It's time to isolate and meditate, Cancer, because there are huge beginnings that are for you. I feel abundance here, but you just got to get past this stuff. You got to get past this. This mental conflict, this emotional conflict, the fear. The fear of taking a risk, the fear of taking a change. And some of you guys have a fear because you look at your own family. You say to yourself, how could it be me? You know, or you get comfortable because, you know, the way your family is like no one is abundant. No one is happy. People always, you know, people in the family is always complaining. And that's that's the normal. And it's got into your head. But some of y'all don't want to step out and do this because, like I said, you don't see nobody in your family being successful or people around you. It's time to change up. It's time to um, find that balance. 
And if this is a love situation, okay, if this is a love situation, you need to find out what balance you. Because whatever this may be, Cancer, you need to release it or else it's going to hold you back. I do see love coming here, though, the sun. Somebody manifesting you in or you need to manifest this type of energy in. For some of you guys, you need to start wearing um, yellow, too, as well. What else, spirit? What else, spirit? What is this? The hangman. The Seven of Cups. I see you having many options. You have a lot of choices, Cancer. Choose wisely. But don't sit there and suspend forever thinking about it. When you look at all of these cards, I mean, just look at it. I, I can feel the energy. You're in your head. Look at this. You're thinking. You're thinking. You're thinking. It's time to stop thinking about it, Cancer, and be about it. You're thinking. It's, 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 it's time to start having a plan, the hermit mode. Okay, you're thinking. And as I said that, 11 11 showed up. What else, spirit? What else, spirit? You want to tell cancer? I'm going to close it out. This is what you need. Look, the Ace of Pentacles. I'm not moving no further. The Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. Look at that. Breaking generational curses. This is what you need to do. But you got to release the past. See the Six of Cups here in reverse. Don't hold on to that shit. Don't hold on to what could have been, should have been, and who did what, when, what. Look what's waiting for you. And y'all know me. When, I, when, when, when I'm doing a reading, especially for cancer, and it ends up like this, I'm, I don't go any further. Look how that pinnacle is being nurtured. This is your ancestors, your spirit guides. Look at how that's, meditate on this card. Take a picture of it, but look at it, how you're being protected, you're being nurtured. And I keep telling y'all, whenever... Things keep coming in your head or something here that you want to do and it keeps coming to you as far as business or that, that that's your ancestor. That's the divine telling you get started. Get started because you're going to regret. I promise you cancer. You will regret not moving forward. Don't let past love, past whatever hold you back. Don't let what somebody did you did to you hold you back and you be afraid to collaborate with people. You're the most intuitive sign in the zodiac. Follow your it's time to start following your intuition and your gut. Don't let somebody hold you back from love because of what he or she did to you. And guess what? Them same people, that same relationship that you was in, and now that you don't want to be in a relationship with nobody else because of that person, I promise you that person. Is with somebody else right now. Do you think that they're possibly saying, I'm not going to be with nobody because of what cancer? No. They done did all the dirt. They done moved on to somebody else. They're not thinking about that. Don't what you need to release. Stop being out in the cold. Stop being that five of pentacles. What you need, it's time to get back in. You, you've been in this hermit mode long enough. You done thought about it. Now you got to execute and make a plan. This is what's waiting for you. Okay? I'll see you next time, Cancer. Bye.